Hello my YouTube friends and welcome back to my channel and happy new year. It is the 3rd of January 2024 which is just crazy and it's crazy to think that I've actually been in my job for nine months, almost one year. It'll be actually no it's been 10 months. It will be a year in March, at the beginning of March, which is just absolutely insane. Anyway, if you haven't visited my channel before, my name is Jessica. I am a research scientist in the field of environmental and analytical chemistry, and I make videos here on YouTube giving PhD advice. You can see some of my earlier videos where I was actually doing PhD vlogs and showing you what it's like being a PhD student. And now I make vlogs showing you what it's like being a research scientist, because that is my new job. Well, I say new job but I've almost been in it for a year but this is my job since finishing my PhD so I am in full-time research I've started my professional career and I am sharing it with you guys on the internet so I have a few things to mention at the start of this video first of all you may have noticed that I've actually done a little rebrand so my channel was formerly called my PhD and me and with the start of the new year I thought it was time to change that since I am no longer a PhD student so as you will see my channel is now called Dr Jessica Gomez, very simple, and my handle on Instagram and also on YouTube is at Dr. Jessica Gomez B. So yeah, I just felt like with the start of the new year, I want to start doing things differently. I am coming up with a strategy for how I'm going to post my videos, what types of videos I want to post. Don't worry, I'm still going to post PhD advice and related content, but I am going to try and do more research scientist vlogs, a little insight into my personal life also, and yeah, do there's going to be a mixture of all sorts of different things going on on my YouTube channel and also on my Instagram page for this year. So this is my first day back at work for the new year. It is very, very quiet here today. It's Wednesday the 3rd of January and many people have actually taken the end of this week off and will come back on Monday, but I don't have very many holidays left to take and my holidays run out at the end of March, not at the end of December. So I want to try and stretch them because I would like to go on a holiday for my birthday. So that means I've come back to work on the 3rd instead of coming back on the 8th, which is fine. It's quite nice that it's quiet. It means that I'll probably get quite a few things done. I might work from home tomorrow because I do have a meeting on Monday, which I need to prepare graphs and data for. But yeah, it's very, very quiet. As you might be able to tell, I am not feeling 100%. My throat is a little bit croaky, as you can, might be able to hear. But basically, before Christmas, I got sick and my boyfriend was sick and then he kind of gave it to me. Thankfully, on Christmas Day, I was feeling okay. My cold lasted for about five days but the cough just carried on but then on New Year's Eve I started to get a runny nose and I was sneezing and I just felt rubbish and ill again and it seems like I am ill again it just never 100% cleared and it is like rebounded and come back just very very annoying. But anyway, we are trying to power through. The most annoying part of it is that I'm struggling breathing. So whether it is the big C word that I have, I don't know because the symptoms can be quite similar to a cold and the flu. But yeah, I'm struggling with my breathing and I haven't exercised for two weeks and you might know that I really enjoy exercising and it makes me feel so good. But even going for a power walk makes me out of breath. Walking up the stairs makes me out of breath. And I was doing yoga this morning for the first time in two weeks because I wanted to do some form of movement in my morning routine. And that was very, very hard on my body. So I'm considering contacting the doctor because maybe I can get some antibiotics or something because this is just not it. I want to get back into my routine for the new year. I want to get back into exercising and being healthy and not eating so much chocolate. And yeah, my lungs are just preventing me from being able to exercise. So today is just going to be a day of trying to settle back into work. I'm going going to start the day doing one of the training courses that I was supposed to do before the new year, which HR send out. So I'm going to do that. And then I want to plan um, the rest of the week. I want to plan the rest of the month. I want to make goals for the year. And yeah, that's kind of the main theme. And I've got some data to do and some preparations for an experiment next week that I need to do in the lab. So it's going to be fairly relaxed, not too strenuous. We're just trying to ease ourselves back into the new year and back into work.
Hello friends, apologies for the noise but I am at the LCMS because I want to check if the LCMS is still working okay after not being used for the last two weeks because some of these analytical instruments when they get shut down for a, a couple of weeks they are not very happy when you start them back up so we are going to check that out but yeah it's almost 3 p.m today has actually flown by so i did some training the hr training that i told you about i have planned this week and next week i was preparing fresh standards because diana who is one of the research assistants is filtering samples for me and is also going to be running the spe tomorrow until monday i think diana is such a great help she yeah she has done so much of the prep sample prep work for us and yeah her her help is invaluable honestly so i had to prepare the internal standard and the spiking solutions and i had to spike all the samples add the internal standard to all the samples for her so they're ready to spe tomorrow and yeah i've just been doing bits and bobs really i was preparing just now some glassware and some tubes cleaning them for the experiment that i'm going to do next week you might remember before christmas i was trialing out a method with pfas in water and now i want to run it with three batches and uh, take the relative standard deviations, get the linearity data, and I want to do that next week. So I had to prepare for that this week for next week. I think I might work from home tomorrow because tomorrow is mainly grant writing. I need to also write a business case for a new instruments that we would like to purchase. And I also need to work on some data and make some graphs for a meeting next week. So I think I will work from home tomorrow, but either way, I will let you know. Hello friends and happy Friday. So it is 8am and I have arrived at work. You will have seen that yesterday I was actually working from home. I had a lot of data to go through, had a lot of graphs to make, a lot of data processing to do. As you will have seen, I was analysing peak after peak after peak, which takes hours by the way for one data set because I have so many different analytes to go through and so many different samples. So it takes a very, very long time. So that took up half of my day and I also worked on my grant application which I need to submit by the beginning of February and I didn't work on the business case yesterday and that was my day working from home yesterday it was very nice to be working from home actually like I said it's very quiet here this week I don't have much lab work until next week so I thought I might as well work from home but today we are here we need to clean some more glassware for the experiment next week I'm going to be working on data again and I'm going to be working on the grant application again so yeah a little bit of lab work a little bit of lab prep, let's say, and quite a bit of computer stuff. But it's good to just mix up the environment, you know, keep you motivated, keep things fresh and new and exciting. And yeah, I'm going to plan out my day and get started. Having some breakfast because I was starving. I've got a bacon and a scrambled egg roll and I am making some batch lists to run the LCMS next week. Hello friends, it's later in the day now and I've been home for a little while so I left work just before lunchtime uh, because I wanted to finish working from home and I also wanted to lift home because it was pouring of rain and my boyfriend was on his way back from work. So I came home a little bit early to work from my office which is where I am now and I had some lunch and then I finished off working in my final hour of work just doing data processing and excel spreadsheets and nothing too exciting to show you there but I just wanted to round off this video by giving giving you a little roundup of my goals for this year. So in terms of work goals, I am still trying to figure them out. I am currently working through a pre-planner planner from dashplanner.com. I really like Dash Planner. It's the 
free planner that I download, which I use in my Zinnia app for writing out my weekly to-do lists and my monthly kind of spreads of what's going on. And the pre-planner helps you to kind of reflect on the year before and to make goals for this year. And I haven't yet reached the work slash education section of the reflection part of the planner yet. So I haven't really sat down and had a good deep think about my goals for this year in terms of work and education and all that jazz. So when I have had a think about them and I've set my goals in place, then I will share them with you in a vlog. But for now, I just want to let you know my kind of goals for the year in terms of my personal life and bettering myself and all that jazz. So I've mentioned a few times that I am quite into my health and into my well-being. And that theme from 2023 is very much going to be carried on into 2024 and I'm not gonna lie reflecting on 2023 I feel like the vibes just weren't really there there was a lot of great things that happened for me but I feel like my general energy was just not in the right place so I really want to work on changing that this year I was working on it quite a lot at the end of last year and feel like I completely transformed my mind in the way that I think and the way that I feel towards situations and daily life so I want to just kind of try and continue that on into 2024 because it is doing great things for my mind and great things for my well-being so some of the things that I've been practicing is being a bit more conscious of my diet because I have issues with my gut and the issues with my gut then trigger issues in my head and yeah I want to keep continuing being conscious about my diet and this includes conscious about alcohol intake and I'm not really drinking now to be honest I cap myself at two alcoholic beverages maximum if I feel like I'm in a situation where I want to have the taste of wine or the taste of beer and um, then I'll just have one or two maximum so I've not kind of I've not gone completely cold turkey I have just capped myself to a reasonable amount which I know will not upset my stomach and also it's not like I'm having two drinks every single day it's when there is that time where I do feel like getting involved and having a drink then I will have one or two maximum also my daily meditation of five minutes in the morning before I go to work and also at the weekend to start my day. Oh, my light is flickering and my light has just gone out. One second, let me go and fix that. Okay, sorry about that. I've managed to get the light to come back on. I have a desk lamp, which is actually Pete's and it's a bit temperamental. All of a sudden it will just go off and I have to kind of bang it a few times and then it will come on. Anyway, sorry. What was I speaking about? Meditation. Yes. Every day, five minutes longer if I have the time to do longer. Um, it honestly just helps me to start my day off really, really well, start my day off in a calm manner, help me to kind of shut off my brain before the week has began, allow me to breathe and just put my body into a state of relaxedness and in my mind into a nice calm state. And honestly, it's one of my favourite things that I implemented last year and I absolutely love it. Next is yoga and just like general movement. So with my new routine, I am exercising in the morning. So I am wanting to carry on implementing moving and when the weather starts to get better I would like to go outside and do some nature walks because being in nature just makes you feel amazing and we have loads of great scenery around Aberdeen but the days are short at the moment they're very rainy at the moment they're very dull so it's not very attractive to go outside for nature walks at the moment and I think my kind of final main personal goal is that I want to keep up reading because I was very good at keeping up my reading last year and because I don't really read so much now. I do still read papers for work, but compared with my PhD where I read, I wrote like a literature review and everything, I am not reading as much at work. And I kind of feel like before I used my PhD and reading a lot for my PhD as an excuse not to read recreationally. And that's just silly because reading recreationally is so different from reading scientific papers. So I have very much been enjoying reading and last year I managed to read 13 books, which might not seem like a lot to some of you but when you live pretty busy lifestyle and only really read before you go to bed then I was very happy with that. My goal was to read 12 books so I, I managed to, to hit that goal and again just to keep things realistic I'm going to set a goal of 12 books for this year, one book per month and if I read more then amazing. So yeah there's kind of a general theme for this year that I'm just kind of trying to look after myself, do things that I enjoy, try to reduce stress, try to look after my health and 
well-being and to live a happy 2024. So with that, I am going to end today's video, this week's video. Thank you so much for joining me on my first video of 2024. I am so excited for the year ahead and so excited for hopefully this little community to grow. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!